Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am Chief. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and we're back with more Vertical Drop Heroes. So when we played last time, it was our first episode. We did two runs, did pretty well. We got some upgrades, and we are ready to embark on another Vertical Drop. So what do we have here? We've got uh, Copper Guard, Emerald Spike, and Emerald Hook. Obviously, uh, these guys are brother and sister because you can see they have the same hair color and the same surname. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that the first name in these weird names is the surname. Uh, so what do we got here? So we only have Iron Foot as a trait, so everybody is inevitably gonna pull Iron Foot from the uh, from the pool. So everybody has Iron Foot, which is super cool. And let's see, what do we have here? Emerald Hook has our highest damage and our highest health. And doesn't really seem to have any other downside. So I'm going to do it. I'm going to take it a little bit slower. That's your downside. It has a shield, so Emerald Hook moves a little bit slower. But yeah, I'm going to grab uh, I'm gonna grab Emerald uh, Hook here. And uh, I've mysteriously lost some gold. I'm not really sure what happened. I think you might lose gold when you quit out of the game or something. I don't know. But at the end of our last episode, we had 76 gold, and now we only have 66. So, yeah. Yeah, we can't really do anything here but upgrade our pacifist orbs. And since I'm not really interested in struggling to maintain a pacifist run, I don't think that it's necessarily worth it to invest my hard-earned gold into the pacifist panda just yet. So let's get in, let's make a run, and let's see what we can do. And of course I say it's not worth it to invest in our pacifist panda, and immediately I get a ton of easy-to-grab pacifist orbs right off the bat. So let's go ahead and start triggering alarms, start killing enemies. Uh, we want to get into this. We want to really push forward and trigger alarm. Jeez, okay. I'm trying to trigger an alarm and it doesn't want to trigger. Uh, tons, of, tons of enemies on screen right now. I think I'm actually making the game lurch a little bit. Uh, let's use our arrows to uh, clear out some of these guys here. Very nice. The arrow piercing through a series of enemies. Really, really helpful in that respect. Again, I do generally play using the uh, auto attack ability. That doesn't necessarily mean that's the best way to play. Uh, it's just what I find to be helpful. Sometimes it's hard to judge your actual distance to the enemies. So I really like the auto attack and it really influences my particular play style. So what do we have here? We've got a new ability, Fast Strike. Immediately moves to and strikes a random visible enemy. That sounds really good for 35 gold. Uh, I think that that's something that I would like to have in my pool. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to the pool for future heroes. So we do have a key, but I don't necessarily like rangers that much. Uh, they're decent enough, but... Okay, sparks for five gold. No way we're going to do that. I just don't necessarily find that those spikes... That, that gold... Excuse me, I said spikes. Uh, lightning for, uh, for five gold. I don't necessarily find that the lightning uh, does that much. So, you know, normally it'll kill maybe one or two enemies, but I don't know that that's necessarily worth five gold to me when I can kill uh, enemies uh, by myself and actually net gold, positive gold. All right, we have another opportunity for a purchase here. 50 gold for a new power, Death Puppet. Purchase this power for future heroes, of course, summons a puppet. Fires 12 homing bolts, dealing 25% of your damage the next three times you are hit. Hmm, that sounds interesting, but I think I'm going to hold on to the goal. I mean, that sounds really powerful. 12 homing bolts, each dealing 25%. Yeah, I mean, that sounds great, actually. Um, I'm talking myself into it slowly but surely. So he fires 12 homing bolts, each dealing 25% of your damage the next three times you're hit. So each time he fires 12 for a total of 36 bolts? Uh, we'll try it. We'll try it, sure. We'll test it out. Maybe we'll regret that purchase. Uh, hopefully, though... We won't. So we got ourselves a nice potion and some more gold for a key. Didn't actually mean to use that key there, just kind of zoned out and uh, used it. But luckily, the fates have rewarded us with another key down here to replace the one I stupidly uh, used. Restoration, sure, I'm down a few arrows, so I might as well go ahead and use it. But before that, let me make a clone. Yeah, these little three guys were going to run out and uh, do a little damage for me. Thank you very much. And I'll go ahead and recharge my ability uh, based off of having used some of each of my two abilities. All right, now we're looking for gold. Again, of course, we are looking for XP. We're looking to slowly and surely improve ourselves until we can conquer all 10 levels of vertical drop heroes. 
let's clear out the ads here. And uh, well, some of these guys, I'm just not quite getting them down in one hit. That's a little bit scary. I think it's because it's my low damage is too low. Uh, let's go ahead and spam our arrows out here. Might as well, we've got arrows. What else are we gonna use them for? Ooh, he jumped it. Wow, you're a little too agile for me. Hmm, all right, and I think we've got a restoration here. We do, we'll go ahead and restore our arrows and might as well take this opportunity to get one more kill. And we're out. Goblin Forest complete. We are on to the Autumn Forest. Here we go. Minions here are really savage. Half the life, but twice the damage. That's what I was saying. Uh, you know, sometimes this will give you useful information like that. Watch out because these guys are going to do a ton of damage. At least it's not fire. Am I right? Okay, so let's see what we're talking about here. Well, we killed that guy in one hit, so we didn't even have to see what he was packing. Uh, gain the power of flight. Not interested in the power of a flight. I uh, don't want to buy that because it's right over spikes. We do have Iron Foot, but I just don't want to waste that key. And these gray statues, sometimes they'll give you useful information, sometimes they'll just give you crap. <laughs> but uh, this st statue just letting us know, you know, water flows down, extinguishes flames, etc., etc. Uh, it does that stuff that water does. All right, good. So these guys have half health, so it's no... Uh, no uh, Surprise that I'm killing them in one hit. Luckily, I'm not taking too much in the way of damage from them. So that is super good. Don't want to trigger that quite yet. Because I needed it as a stepping stone to get up to the uh, statue and see if it actually did anything for me. Excuse me, the shrine. Uh, send flames out in all directions. Uh, that's probably worth it, given the fact that we have so many enemies on the screen. But I'd rather just persevere. I'd rather just persevere. I'd rather use something like clones, maybe, to sort of help with that. You know, just add a little bit of uh, spice to the run. Actually use some of our active abilities for once. Uh, wow, we took a lot of damage there. A lot of damage. One of my clones triggered a... Uh... Oh, they, those guys have spears. So the spears actually have a little bit of longer range on them. So I have to get a little closer to him than he does to me in order to uh, trigger an attack. Okay, good, a level up, which is definitely what we needed. Spawn four enemies for two gems. We need money, so I'm gonna spawn, uh, I'm gonna spawn enemies to, to gain gems. Nice block there. Again, because I have a buckler, I can block uh, from time to time, so that is a super, super big plus for me. Lots of keys, nothing really to spend them on. Uh, that little green stone inside here that says 100 coins to unlock, that is basically a, a, a checkpoint. I can hit that, and then from the initial uh, starting screen where you uh, upgrade from the Temple of Power, from the hub, the Temple of Knowledge, yeah, from the hub world, uh, you can warp right into uh, this level. So it's just a way to uh, checkpoint and not have to do quite so much of the uh, lower level content when you get a little more powerful. But right now I don't have 100 gold, so I'm not even going to bother with it, right? Well, let's send our clones down to do our bidding here try to see what they can do for us. Then I'm going to drop down and I'm going to start raining in arrows and I'm going to miss with the first arrow horribly. So let's uh, wait till he gets over a little further and then let's start raining down arrows. Let's just cheese it. Let's just cheese it. There we go. Lots and lots of guys down here. Uh, really, I'm probably just going to die. Yeah, there we go. Uh, nearly dead now. Lovely, lovely. Too f really close to an, uh, a level up. But I jumped right into a spear. Wow. Okay, so we got a little bit of money. So we're going to jump in and... Uh, okay, we lost a little bit of money too. I was going to say we have over 100 gold. So I guess you apparently do lose some money when you actually end the level. So that makes sense. Lose a little bit of a percentage uh, when you end. Hadn't noticed that before. Guess I wasn't paying attention. All right, we've got Rogue Drinker, Witch Tongue, and Black Hood. Uh, now, I like these guys that has seven as their low base damage because that means that I'm going to be doing uh, more damage or I'm going to do more damage overall because that area is a little bit, uh, it starts higher. I, you know, there are points when I can talk and use real words and then there are points when I just can't find what I want to say and that was one of those. So I actually think Rogue Drinker looks pretty good. Uh, he didn't pull Iron Foot. I, that's a little bit of a surprise as a trait. So he has none and none for his passive traits but he's got that fast strike ability that we got in the first episode and Mega Jump which I haven't really found uh, much of a way to use but uh, he doesn't take any negatives. You notice how uh, having a staff gives Witch Tongue 
uh, minus 50% HP. Rogue Drinker's just pretty straight up. He's got the standard sword, so he's not going to take any uh, penalties, and he's got good damage, and he's got a lot of health. So we can afford to upgrade our health if we want to. I think no, I'm going to I'm gonna start hoarding money at this point. So let's get right back in. Let's do another drop and see what we can do here. Uh, spawn two enemies and gain a key. You know what? I'm all about that. Uh, keys come in very handy, and often they are a little bit hard to come by in the very early parts of the first couple levels. So yeah, I'm going to do that. Anytime I have the opportunity to grab a basically free... Excuse me there. <laughs> a basically free key, I'm going to do it. I am absolutely going to do it. Now, we're not going to do that, though. We will trigger this alarm. Again, we want money, right? We want gold because we want to buy them upgrades. So I am going to trigger alarms whenever the opportunity is uh, is there. And I'm also going to see what this fellow has here. What do you got for me? A new ability, the boomerang. Hmm, that sounds good. That sounds good. So it doesn't return if it hits a boss, but it replenishes its charge if you catch it from hitting normal enemies. It's interesting. I don't necessarily feel compelled to buy it just yet, though. I may regret that later, but I am going to go with no on the boomerang for now. I'll trigger this alarm for even more enemies. Uh, let's try that fast strike ability. This is supposed to teleport us to an enemy and make us uh, hit him a bunch of times. Wow, okay, that was pretty awesome. Uh, I am happy that I purchased that. What do you want, lady? Flowers, a diamond ring? She wants a diamond ring. So the diamond ring is going to be in one of these locked chests, most likely. Uh, so it's a crapshoot. Uh, I do have three keys, so I'm at least willing to open this chest in order to see if it has the diamond ring, and it does. So we can hop right back up to our princess and get our reward. 50 coins, we'll take it. Definitely don't mind 50 coins. I'm going to say no to the barbarian there just because he's a little bit unpredictable. I think the Barbarian actually has the Fast Strike ability. Now that I have Fast Strike, I've noticed the Barbarian doing some weird teleporting around, and it must be because he has the Fast Strike ability, and that would actually make a lot of sense. Uh, five coins for one maximum damage for the rest of this run. Um, you know, that's, that's possibly good, but also, eh, whatever. Spawn two enemies to gain a key, definitely. Definitely do that. I like having two more enemies to kill, and I like having another key. Seven keys, so we are in pretty good shape when it comes to keys. Not going to complain. We have enough health and enough damage to kind of just drop down with those guys and tank that damage that they're putting out without too much of a worry. Uh, fast Strike? Sure, why not? Okay, so Fast Strike's not going to be quite as effective. I'm uh, hearkening back to the, to the spamming of my... Uh, daggers and kind of wishing I had daggers because I believe last time we beat this boss we kind of just spammed him with daggers almost completely but let's go ahead and uh, fast strike a couple times here because that is going to help us out no matter what oh okay so we did level up in order to get our health back up but that that got a little bit close so not really using optimal tactics here <laughs> let's try to uh, bring it in here Okay, so uh, we can shoot some bolts, but there's nothing to shoot at, so we're definitely not going to do that. Luckily, there's no uh, there's no green shrine here, which means that there's no negative effect on this level, which I like quite a bit. So I'm going to grab this pacifist orb, and then I'm going to hit the alarm. I don't see any other pacifist orbs directly uh, nearby, so, you know, whatever. Great, let me just get hit by all the projectiles, please. Could I? That would be great. Okay, good. A little bit of life. That's what I needed. I'm going to avoid that area because I'm almost inevitably going to get hit by those spikes. Oh, okay. That guy's doing that thing. He's, he killed the puppy. He killed the puppy. Oh, come on. Come on. There's Ruthless and then there's Ruthless. I mean, jeez. Okay, I don't like you, Quillbore. Or whatever you're called, Quill Beast. Hmm, I don't see any way to make that jump, so we're just not gonna not gonna mess with it. Oh puppy, no! I don't think I can Oh I saved the puppy! Oh he didn't murder the puppy. Oh, okay. Wow, okay, so I made a clutch save of the royal puppy. Definitely happy about that. I definitely don't want to play a game that promotes puppy murder. Okay. <laughs> Poor timing on that jump. I'm going to set off this alarm because, you know, why not? 
Why not? It'll only lead to my death. Oh, jeez. It's so funny going from my other save, which was very powered up, <laughs> to this one, which is very not powered up, and realizing that I really wasn't all that good at this game. I had just progressed to a point where... Well, let's send ice bolts in all directions, sure. I had just progressed to a point where uh, I was actually dead. I was actually too powerful. I was powerful enough to compensate for my uh, poor play. So, yeah, Ice Bolt, maybe not the best idea, because apparently once something is frozen, you can smash it, and enemies will fall down on your head and kill you. That's not a lot of fun. All right. So, uh, that's going to do it for this episode. Again, don't get attached to any of these fine fellows, because we will have a new set of heroes to select in our next episode of Vertical Drop Heroes HD. I have been Big Dave. Thanks for watching, and until next time, take it easy.